that you are all having a great weekend. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today I'm gonna to open up my two August 2018 knit crates. I have both the sock crate membership, which always has 100 grams of sock yarn in it, plus a free sock, or an included sock knitting pattern. And this, this one goes for, I think, $19.95. And then there's the Knit Crate membership, which comes with 200 grams of yarn, a knitting pattern, a crochet pattern, and yeah, they're both really awesome, and I really, really love them. Now, Knit Crate has a huge flash sale going on right now. So if you sign up for the Knit Crate membership today, which is $24.99, um, that includes international shipping for everything you'll see in this box, you can also get a free crate for just the cost of shipping. So you can get actually two crates for $29.99, which is amazing. Um, my affiliate link is in the video description and in the chat. And if you go, there'll be a pop-up for that flash sale on their website right now. But I'll talk a little bit more about that as I get to the unboxing and the opening of my wonderful, wonderful knit crates. I guess the other thing that I will say is, so I mentioned that I am a knit crate affiliate, um, but, and, and knit crate does provide these um, kits to me for free. Um, so that way I can share them with you, but all of the thoughts and opinions are my own. But generally, I am thrilled with what comes in the packages and I can't wait to tell you more about it. But I guess the biggest thing is the value um, of these packages is phenomenal. Um, and the international shipping is a huge plus. So as we go, let me know if you have any questions. I think from just shaking them, yeah, I think this is the Knit Crate membership one. But they all show up in this beautiful teal box. So when it shows up on your doorstep, you know that you've got something very, very special. And let's open it up. Ooh, okay, so, oh, this one's a little different. They changed it up, so our, ooh, and is this? Oh no, it's just two. Um, look at that color. All right, before we get to the yarn, let's look. This is a little different now. Um, it used to be sort of like a placard, but now we've got a, um, a little booklet this month. So the theme for the month, and every month there's a theme, and all of the kits will use that theme as inspiration for the colorways. The theme is Indigo Glow. Um, and so there's some information about the yarn here. Okay, so now, ooh, this is cool. I can't really show it to you because it has the special offers, and I don't want to give, you get coupon codes um, in addition to being memberships, but it now has a new, um, so I'll block it and a new about the designers page and so that's cool and one of the things that I love oh my they now actually include the knitting patterns um, the knitting patterns for this month are actually now in this booklet so that's a new um, a new feature and it's of course making it a little harder for me to show you because I've got the download um, code up there but these are the patterns for the month it looks like it's two wraps um that there's a knit wrap and a crochet wrap but for the first time and this is a change um the the patterns you can download them directly to your computer or to ravelry through a link that's provided in here or the patterns are now in here as well so this is a a new a new system um and don't want to miss um Okay, let's look, let's look at the yarn. Um, so it came beautiful and it looks like, ooh, so this is a single ply. It is a bright teal. So the, the colors are a little bit washed out. It's a deeper or more saturated color than this box. And actually, I think I have some color of this color in my shirt and it's got these indigo shade specks. So this yarn is called the Uru Yarn Speckled Singles and it's 100% superwash merino. 417 yards per 100 grams. And I have um, uh, 200, 200 grams of this here. Now in the Knit Crate membership box, you will always get at least 200 grams of yarn. But the colorway that you get can be a mystery. So this month there are four possible colorways. 
Um, the colorway colors are called Undertow, Highlight, Shibori, or Silence. And I have the Undertow colorway right here. Um, so this is beautiful. And these are all hand dyed by Knit Crate's in-house team. In addition to like the Knit Crate membership and the Sock Crate, they do have artisan versions of these, which feature a different independent dyer every month, which I think is really cool. Um, so this yarn, I think this would be great for some kind of shawl. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big shawl knitter. Um, uh oh, wait, what? What was gross? Uh oh. Oh, you got inspired. You dyed your yarn with with beer and buster wasabi and ketchup. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, but so the two patterns, because they changed this up, and I need next time I guess I'm gonna have to get prepared with sticky notes um, because I don't want to give the download. It's making it a lot harder for me to sh to show you guys. Um, so as as the crate purchaser, I think that this booklet is more user friendly for keeping everything together. As someone doing the unboxing, I liked the other version with the little like card um, because then I could show it to you guys. Um, so we've got the patterns that come with this. There's this crochet wrap um, that has some really cool tassels on it um, or really cool fringe. And then the, the knit version, it's beautiful. I'm not, I think that it's a little harder because of the way it's printed to see but it's got these it's like a like a scalloped pattern um with with a simple lace pattern in it yeah the booklet the booklet is a great change previously um one of the things i had said that was a plus of this kit is i i personally liked that the patterns weren't printed out i liked that i could download them directly into my ravelry to print them out at my convenience um, which you can still do. There's still the link here so that way you can download the patterns to save them and add them to your Ravel library. Um, I like the booklet because it keeps all the information in one place um, because I have this, I've been saving all the cards that I get and so I have this collection of like, oh, I lost the pattern card and like the card with the yarns and it's nice to have all that in one spot. I think in my purely honest opinion, the quality of the printing when they had the postcards was a higher quality than um, the like resolution of the printing. But I think that that has to do with like the printing process. But again, like my preferences as an unboxer <laughs> are slightly different than my preferences would be as the consumer. And as a consumer, I really like having this booklet. I like seeing, um, I wish I could show, but I like having a picture of the designers, a little more of information about the designers, because I think one of the things that makes Knit Crate so awesome is that they do feature, through their monthly subscriptions, independent designers. Um, and it's a great way to get exposure to different patterns. And I've actually found some patterns I really liked because of a pattern that came in here, and I looked at what else was in the designer's shop, because they give you Frequently, a designer featured in a knit crate will give you a discount off of their other patterns. And I just think that that is really, really cool. So if you sign up today, um, you may or may not get the same colorway as me. As I mentioned, there are a total of four colorways this month that you could get. Um, you will, all of them are in the same yarn base and will have the same kind of theme. They'll all be sort of like this, a speckled yarn like this. So all of them will work with the, one of the patterns provided. Um, and then, um, but then each month the yarn base changes and the type of colorway changes. And so it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, the, what was I, what else was I going to say about this? Um, but yeah, it's sort of nice that like, this is easier to like slip into a binder or something. Yeah, it's Indigo Month. And you know what's funny? They're having Indigo Month, like, and I've got... Indigo week coming up on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. So in a couple weeks, there's going to be a lot of dyeing videos that feature plant-derived indigo. So that's going to be, that's a little bit of what's coming up over here. Let's open up the sock crate. Um, and so, oh, I guess what this doesn't have anymore. So as I said, the knit crate is $24.99 a month. It includes shipping, international shipping. So if you live in Australia, 
it is, well, whatever the equivalent of $24.99 US dollars is. Um, and I think that that's awesome. It's a monthly subscription. So if you sign up today, you will be charged today and they will ship you, as long as it's still available, August's crate. Then you'll be charged on the first of the month and then you'll get September's crate until you decide to cancel. There are options now, so you could sign up for six months that is non, like, and get a slight discount or 12 months. Um, and that will not automatically renew. But um, yeah, and so this is, but right now, if you wanted to sign up for this kit, you could get um, another one free. And I'll talk a little more about that at the end. All right, this is the sock crate. The sock crate, so the knit crate always comes with one knitting pattern, one crochet pattern, and the amount of yarn you have is enough to make either one of the two designs. Um, sometimes the designs don't use all of the yarn, frequently they, they do, but there's a huge variety of different patterns. It could be, we've had socks, shawl, shawls, ponchos. Um, I think that there, there's probably been hats, there's been things for the hands, there's been a wide variety of different kinds of patterns. If you sign up for the sock crate, you are gonna get a sock pattern every month and it's always gonna be a fingering weight sock yarn. Um, well, I think it's always fingering weight. Maybe it could be a, like a sport weight sock yarn, but it's always a sock yarn. Um, so it's probably got a nylon blend so that way you can, you know, it's got the strength to use in hand knit um, socks. But so this one's always a knitting pattern. The sock crate is $19.95 and yeah, it's also just a really good deal because shipping is included and you get the pattern, the shipping, and the yarn. And even if you don't love the patterns that come in the box, like $25 or $20, that's a really good value for like what is in the boxes. Like as an independent dyer, I can't match those prices. Um, the artisan crates are a little more expensive, but um, I think it's worth it. <gasps> Whoa, check out our sock yarn. This is beautiful. Okay, so we've got our, oh, it's fun. It's slightly different. Um, here is our Indigo Glow. Um, and, and so it's also talking about the dive into the palette of cool hues. Oh, yeah, they both say it. Cool hues and explore the deep saturated tones in this month's theme. Okay, so, and the sock pattern is called, I've got to cover up the thing, it's called Elegant Bells. And I don't think that with my picture and through the thing, it's going to show up really, really well. Um, but it's a textured, so it looks like there's a little bit of lace and a little bit of cabling uh, in it. But actually, ooh, I now have the pattern here. So, okay, so this is the Vidalia Heathered Sock, and this is that, that mo one month that we got this as a bear yarn, and I've actually dyed it uh, myself, this bear yarn base, and it takes up dye beautifully. Let's, let's open this one up, because this is a, so it's tonal. I'm curious, it is, yeah, so it's a variegated, Variegated yarn. It's not, you know, there's, there looks like there's sort of semi repeating darker and lighter patches, but the color changes are very subtle. So this is a yarn that would look wonderful with a complex stitch pattern because um, it would allow that to still shine. It's a really, really soft yarn. It is 40% um, Peruvian Highland wool, 40% merino, and 20% nylon. It is not superwash. Um, and this color is called Dusty Rose, and it's sort of a deep mauve and burgundy, and I'm getting some, like, flare. There we go. From the camera. It's like a, yes, it's a deep, um, it's a, I love deep saturated colors like this. Um, so I will, okay, so there is a, there's written instructions and a chart. Um, it's more of a burgundy than a plum. It's more red, it's like a, it is a purple, but it's more on the red side, I would say. It's a very warm, warm purple. Um, yeah, it's like, 
yeah, more, I don't know if that would then be like a, almost like a tertiary color versus a secondary, if that, <laughs> or maybe like a quaternary. I don't know if it's like, you know, a little more, it's, it looks, I think, more blue on the camera than it, than it really is. But so the pattern has both written instructions and, um, and it's charted, and there's a pattern for small, medium, and large size socks. Um, and so I think that that is really, really cool. And again, there's some information about the designer, and this has the, the booklet has information about the yarn. Um, the designer's name is Kelly Slack, um, and it tells a little bit more about her and the pattern inspiration. And I think that's really cool. That's one thing that was missing, I think, before. Um, because, and so here's the pattern again, which I'm not sure is going to show up very well. Um, one thing I think that this was missing before is when it was featuring the independent designers is that you could learn more by going to the designer's website, but it's nice to have some information about the person who did the pattern. And I think Knit Create is a company that they really value like the depth of hand dyed yarns and sharing different independent fiber, fiber artists with the community. And that's something I think is really fantastic. And so, you know, the, the, the ones that come in the, the two kits I got are dyed by Knit Crate's team versus like some other independent designer, uh, sorry, independent dyer like out in the, the field. But I like, you know, they offer yarn support. So they'll provide the bare yarn bases to the independent dyers that participate. And I think that that's really cool. I like that there's like this intersectional cross promotion um, value because it feels like something that's like about sharing the love for hand dyed yarns with the community. Um, yes, it's very much like a wine colored. Um, have I tried dyeing yarn with wine? I have. It gave like a brownish color. Uh, there's actually in my, uh, that yarn is in my shop actually. <laughs> Um, but there is a video on this channel about dyeing yarn with wine. Um, yeah, this is this is just so, so, so fun. Um, but yeah, so let me pick up. Oh, and I can show you, I guess, the way things used to show up. Okay, so this is the sort of like the two crates that I opened up today. In previous months, the, the kits included sort of this cardstock card with the theme of the month and then on the back it had um the coupon codes the download codes information about the yarn and so i can't flash the back to you but as the like presenter it was very very nice and then it also included a card that had the the designs on it um and so that was and you could download the pattern directly to your computer or to ravelry so the new change is to the booklet that has the pattern in it, has the download code still, and has a little more information about the designer. And I bet if you sign up for one of the artisan crates, it'll probably have information about the dyer in here as well. And I like, you know, the, like, these are a little better for me to show like, ooh, look at the pretty. But this is, I think is better for the, the consumer. Um, yeah, th this, is, this is fun for the consumer because you, can get a little more, a little, you get a little more information and it brings some more of that joy to the, to the kit and to the, to the yarns. So I mentioned that Knit Crate's having a flash sale right now and I'm gonna drop my link back into the chat. So if you go and visit, it'll pop up that they're having this flash sale. And if you sign up for the Knit Crate membership, you can get a free month for just the cost of shipping. So this Knit Crate, if you just sign up today, you can get this for $24.99 um, and they'll ship, you know, this will come to your, to your door with the two patterns and you get both. There's not enough yarn to knit both patterns always, but you get both. You don't just pick one. Um, so you could always use the other with additional yarn. Um, and so this, the, you know, this gets shipped to you. But if you're signing up right now, you can also get, they'll send you one of July's boxes. So this one that I had popped up, the Modern Primary, you will get a Modern Primary box with one of the colorways 
for just the cost of shipping. So for five bucks, you can get this um, in addition to when you sign up for this one. And so I think that that is, I think this is the best sign up discount that I've heard. I have a permanent uh, coupon code that I could give you that would be 20% off your first, your first, your first box. Um, but you know, this get two boxes now is a slightly better deal. Um, if you are interested in my coupon code, it's chemnitz20. I think I have that in the, the video description as well. So if the flash sale isn't going on and you're watching this later in the month, um, you can use the code chemnitz20 to get 20% off your first month. But, you know, right now this flash sale is a better deal. Um, yeah, I mean, it looked at, I lucked out that these like go nicely together. So actually this is a nice way to show an example. So in, in July's box, the yarn base was 100% superwash merino worsted weight. And so this is a, it's also a superwash merino, but this was more of a, it's like a chunky, I think was it a two ply? Yeah, this is like a chunky two ply, and this one is a single. Um, so there, so it's just, you get like a wide variety. I think I've gotten um, heavy worsted. I haven't gotten any lace. I don't know how small they go down to, but they source their own yarn bases. And yeah, I think that it's really awesome. And I've been really happy with all of the colors. Sometimes, so you don't pick the color that you get, which I think is a good thing because sometimes if I'm buying yarn, I tend to go for the same colors all the time. And so sometimes the color might not be the one that I would have picked, but it's kind of brings me outside of my comfort zone. And if I don't wanna make the pattern that comes in the box, I can use it for a different pattern, but the patterns they provide also come, sort of also start as like an inspiration point of what the yarn could turn into. Or maybe I see the pattern, I'm like, oh, I have this other yarn in my stash that would be gorgeous on that. So it's really a fun, happy present that comes up every month and the value is great um yeah the the value is really really great so this this sale right now is really really good um also i mean i when you guys sign up like it does benefit me <laughs> as well and there's like a contest right now to see who could sign up the most people um <laughs> but um yeah and so in addition there's some other perks to joining so when you join any of the memberships you get the awesome crates that come to you every month but you also get a discount there's a membership central and so if you like like your yarn but you want one of the other colorways from this month you can go to that and you can actually buy the yarn at 20 percent off what a non-subscriber would pay for that yarn um, and so you do unfortunately have to pay shipping on things that you buy outside of the membership subscriptions but um yeah, so you can always, if you wanted more of the colorway, you can get a little more until it sells out, or you could get an alternate colorway. Um, yeah, I'm the best at it. Ah, <laughs> I, I mean, I really. I love hand dyed yarn. I am an independent dyer myself. I like the support of the independent community. And if they were not sending this to, for, to me for free, this is something I would put on my like holiday wish list um, that like I give my in-laws and stuff because this is really like a great gift for someone like me. And I'm really, really glad, I'm double checking that it is still available. I think last month was the first time that they did it, that you can, um, yeah, so now you can sign up. The, the I think starting last month, maybe the month before, you can now sign up for a six months and to pay every six months or to pay every 12 months. And I think that that's awesome. And you get like an even more of a discount. Um, I think that if you pay for 12 months at a time, it averages to $22 and 90 cents a box instead of 24 99. So you get a discount if you sort of pay up front, but that makes it easier to give as a gift because you could give someone six months of knit crate or 12 months of knit crate. And, um, the other crates that they have, um, there are some quarterly crates that are like a luxury one, but there is a, um, the sock artisan crate 
and then there's the artisan crate. So the, the artisan crate is $39.99 a month, and that includes 200 grams of yarn from an independent designer. I think it comes with two exclusive knitting patterns, an advanced one and a beginner one. And it comes with one kind of fun extra, which sometimes it's tassels or buttons or, or stitch markers or something fun like that. Um, and that also, oh, sorry, I guess the discounted member central is 25%, not 20. And that's already included once you're logged in. Um, and then the sock artisan crate, um, that is $27.99, comes with 100 grams of independently dyed sock yarn, so a different indie dyer every month. Um, and it comes with one knitting pattern, and it comes with one, and the knitting pattern is a sock pattern always there, and it comes with one fun extra. And so all of the crates in a month will all sort of be on like a theme. And they're not necessarily the same colors because different people are dying um, for each of them basically. But they all like when you they lay them all out, it's all part of some the same inspiration. And it's fun to see how different groups, um, whether they're individual or they might be a little team, but they how they come up with a different kind of colorway and inspiration but uh, I'm really happy that so this this base they sent us the bear yarn of this um so oh right this yarn is also this twist so the bear yarn of this is like gray and it has two plies that are light and two that are darker and I think that they're natural colors so they're natural wool colors and so then you get this twist in it and I've dyed this myself and it's really fun and I really 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 like it um, I look like one of his college, a college professor. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been really happy. I think one of my first ones that I got in February, I'm so happy that they keep sending me, them to me. I haven't, um, yeah, and I, I just think that it's, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. I, it brings me true joy to open it up and see the colors and the I think it's fun because even if you watch me do the unboxing you might know what the yarn base is you might know what the patterns are but you won't know what color you're gonna get I think they like package them all and it's like random what the labels go on to um so the discount so um okay there's a there's like three different discounts I think I was I was talking about if you are signed up with a knit crate membership you get 25% off the membership central. Um, so if you go to, or I guess I call it member central. So if you're logged in and you go to there in member central, and I'm going there right now, you can see, so right now in member central, I see, oh, I'm, I guess I'm not logged in because it told me to log in. Um, <laughs> fine, I will log in. Um, and you also, each month when you get stuff, you get like rewards points that you can use for like discounts on a subscription or in the shop. So things that are in there, they've got project bags, they've got, um, so I think that if, if you want, weren't a member and you wanted to buy a skein of this, I think it would be $24 a skein. But with the membership discount, it's $18 um, for, like, for a skein of this. So if you consider that to buy them individually, it would be $18 each when you're signed up, but $24 for one of them. Um, and then if you get the kit, the kit is only like $25. <laughs> it's a really good deal. But they have the colorways. Um, yeah, a bunch of the colorways from last month in there. And even some... Oh, I recognize. Yeah, there's. they have yarns in there from some of the previous months from a bunch of the different crates. Um, and those do tend to sell out, but you can buy um, the discount. The member discount does not apply to pattern and digital downloads. It just applies to the yarn and some other items, but um, it means you can get more. You can collect the other colors um, and things like that. And I also know that if you get a colorway that you don't love, uh, you can always either try finding someone to swap with potentially, or you can over dye it. Um, and that's uh, something that, you know, when I, when they sent me the bear yarn, I'd been wanting to buy it because you can buy their bear yarns. I'd been wanting to get this marled, like twisted base. So when they sent me the bear yarn, I was like, I am going to dye this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am really excited. 
Um, I, but yeah, the, I think I, I'm just, I, I really like everything with the company and I, there was a comment that I had missed, but so that, all right. So that was the, the one discount and then the other discounts, um, so I have a coupon code, it's just Chemnitz20, so you can get 20% off your first month's box. Um, but right now, with at least the Knit Crate membership box, it's a slightly better deal. Um, with, the, with the membership, um, if you sign up for the Knit Crate membership, you would get, if you sign up right now, you would get the August box. And then for an additional $5, you could basically get a free July box. The $5 covers the shipping. Um, so, yeah, so you could get both of these boxes for $29.99 right now. And if you go to their site, that offer will pop up. Um, and so, and I know, I think that that's just for the Knit Crate membership box, because if you go to the website, I checked this, and you click, like, get my free box, and it adds it all to the cart. Um, so, yeah, the modern primary was July's box, um, and August box is this Indigo Glow. So if you just wanted... If you didn't want July's box, you just wanted the, to start with the August one, you could use the coupon code Chemnitz20 for 20% off. Um, so that's, that's what there is. Um, you can also review something every five days. Yeah, you, get, you can save up, you get stash points each month and for leaving reviews and maybe sharing pictures. Um, so, oh, that offer is available for current members? Ooh. Yeah, I think for the referral contest, it might only count for, for new people signing up. But if you, if I have inspired you to sign up for a new subscription or anything like that, um, I will drop my link into the chat again. Um, uh oh, there we go. Um, there's my, there's my linky. Um, <laughs> okay, wait, I guess it's popping up on my phone, I guess my link is over there if you're in the chat or um it's also in the video description so it could be you can find it down there too <laughs> um but I, I do truly enjoy it and i think that um yeah it's it's just a really fun one for a wide range of skill levels i think that the patterns um tend to be like not super advanced they're not always necessarily beginner, um, and unless you do the, um, I think the artisan crate comes with one beginner and one more advanced pattern. Um, but I think that if you're starting out and you want to challenge yourself, it's a fun way to challenge yourself with different types of variegated yarns. Sometimes the yarns are semi-solid, sometimes they're speckled, sometimes it's a, uh oh, it's a subtle variegated colorway. Sometimes it's a more like contrasting variegated colorway. We've gotten gradients in the past. It's just, there's a lot and the, the, there's different textures and bases and it's really fun. I saw a question, do they offer a bare yarn monthly subscription? And not now, but I, since you said that, I might send a message to them um, asking about that because um, if there's interest, then that could be, uh, a fun thing too. Um, I think the, I'm just double checking the, if you're interested in, if you like some of their yarn bases, um, the website where you can buy their bare yarns is called Dyer Supplier. Um, and I, unfortunately my affiliate link doesn't work for there, but they have some, I mean, I really like the yarns that have come up. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let them know. Who knows? Maybe they'll, maybe they'll bring something together. Um, <laughs> you coveted last month. Yeah, no, if you waited for this month, because now they have, you can get last month's as well. Um, which is really like, and if, if one of the crates is ever sold out and you really want it, more slots usually open up at the beginning of the month because, you know, inevitably some people probably cancel um, in a month. And so at the beginning of the next month, that's, if there aren't spots available at the end of the month, you can get some more then. But even if you wait until the very end of August, so if you, on the last day of August, sign up, you will get August crates and then you'll be charged again on September 1st for September's crate. 
Um, but you can always reach out to them with questions. They're, they're really like accessible. Um, and I have just been really, really happy working with them and I'm happy with the variety. And so the, the tones this month, um, oh, it looks like there are two colors in the stock crate this month. There's this burgundy-ish one and then there's like a more indigo blue type one, which it's almost too bad I didn't get because it would have been fun. I could have run and grabbed my indigo dyed yarn to compare like indigo dyed with the indigo inspired and that would have been pretty fun. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that it's an indigo theme this month when I've got all these indigo dyeing videos that are about to come out. Um, so... Yeah, the, oh, I don't think I'm seeing, there we go, I have it switched. I wasn't seeing all of the, um, cause you guys are active in chat today, so I wasn't seeing everything, so I had to change it so that way I could see everything coming through. But yeah, I think that one of the, the best things about this is if, so if you are an international customer, it will take longer to get to you. Um, you know, they usually ship around the first week of the month, but it can take a lot longer because they, they obviously can't control if things get held up in customs or something. Um, how did I get the name Chemnitz? Well, I was in graduate school um, and I actually, so I'm not sure if you know, I have a PhD in biochemistry and molecular pharmacology. Uh, and I started the blog while I was a grad student. And so I honestly don't know exactly how it popped into me, but I was like, Caught me thinking like, oh, I need a name. And I'm like, oh, I'm a chemist that knits. Okay, chem knits. And I was like, that. Like, I really don't remember the moment that that like came up. Like when I was doing the Dye Pot Weekly series, there was a lot of like, like hemming and hawing over the name of that. But with chem knits, I think I was like, okay, let's just do it. And I just started the blog. <laughs> And then the rest is history, and Chemnitz will be 10 years old this December. Um. <laughs> oh, good, you need more insulation. Yeah, you, you know, it's never... As someone with a serious yarn stash problem, I still love getting more yarn sent to me every month. <laughs> And it's funny because I'm like, I almost don't let myself like, I, unfortunately with me creating more videos, I don't have as much time to knit as I, as I used to. So I don't go and use my yarn as often, but I just, these yarns make me really, really happy. And it's really fun to look at them actually. And like, think about the, the variety of techniques that come in and it's fun to look and just see, I mean, this. So this is speckles over what is looks pretty close to a true solid. Um, I'm not sure if, and I can't I can't really be sure from the picture of the patterns if it's a like if there's some variation in this turquoise tone, but it looks pretty solid to me. Um, and then the speckles are just beautiful. Actually, I can open this up too. I forget if I've had this yarn base so far. But here's the the pretty. Um, <laughs> the nice thing about the book the booklet is not everyone uses a computer. Yeah, that that's very true. The booklet does make things um, more accessible. Actually, that's something that I didn't consider is that not everyone has um, access to a computer or to a printer. And so it sounds like that they got feedback. You know, I, I guess you're right. I'm coming from a place of privilege where I, I liked the, just the computer part because, you know, I was like, oh, I can add it to Ravelry and save it for later. But that's also taking for granted that I have a computer in my home and not everyone might not have that available. And so having the booklet um, is nice. And I can, because I don't want to show like, I don't want to give anything away, but I think I can, so I'm going to like fold this. So this is one of the, um, 
the shawl patterns, but so then it's got like all the like information here. Yes, and laptops don't, and even if people have a computer, they might not have a printer. So a lot of times like I'll have a pattern up on like my Chromebook or something around where I knit. For something with a chart, I print it out. Um, but yeah, so it is like, I think my preference, and it's something that, you know, as a it was a plus to me, but this is not a ton of paper. And this would actually be really easy to, like, these are actually a little easier for me to hang on to than like the cards. You can have like a little, you can put them in a binder um, really nicely. Cause the, the previous cards were like beautiful and fun and gave like a nice visual component to a presenter of the product. But otherwise it's not necessarily something you'd hold on to, but the booklet has all the information in one place. So if you six months later go and knit the pattern, then you can go and, um, you know, go and buy one of the self-published patterns from one of the independent designers or independent dyers. And so then that is like, you, excuse me, you have that information and it's easier to hold on to. So I think that um, the change is a very, very good one. Um, I know that like, so the, when I, I guess I'm technically signed up on like the influencer like subscription um, as the as the affiliate. Um, and so, yeah, it was like the, I was like, this was easy for me to present. <laughs> but I think that um, when seeing this, I'm like, oh, this is actually really, really nice. Um, but it's just, it's, it's adult, it's fun to see the surprise of colors. And it's fun to have the patterns. And it's just, it's great. I, I really, really enjoy it. And I hope that, I know a bunch of you are already signed up, um, but you got, your daughter just seeing the card, she gasped at the, yeah, the rainbow, yeah. So the the, the rainbow was last month. The, the theme last, for July was modern primary. And if you want the video of me unboxing these is on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, if you sign up, if you go through the, and I'll drop the link in one more time before I sign off, but if you go in and you sign up today, if you want the Knit Crate membership for an additional five bucks, you can get, which is just the cost of shipping, you can get the July Crate too. So you won't necessarily get these colors. You would get, actually, there's like a lot of possibilities because there's four options for August and then there's four options for July. And I know, because I just checked at the member central shop that all of the July colorways are still in there. Um, so they're all available. And so if, if, so if you are a current member, um, you could just go and buy some of the other colorways, but I think that there's a lot of great options and there's not a coupon code. I don't think for that free month, actually, let me check and see if there's, I don't think it's a, oh, funny. Cause my video is playing. Uh, oh, I guess maybe the coupon code is free knit crate. So if you don't have the pop-up, it's just in all words, it's, um, what happens if I make that go away? Oh, then it made the price go there. Yeah. So I think you might have to go through the pop-up. Um, cause what I'm checking is if, if that works, if you sign up for, um, like one of the other ones. I am curious. Oh, I didn't delete the stuff out of my cart. I'm not checking. Okay, I think that you might need to click the free knit crate button um, in order for that to work out. Um, yeah. So I think that that's the way that you would need to do it. <laughs> but, I, but it's good to, you can, you can try playing around with it. Um, gifting, yeah, gifting a box would be easier because you know they get everything. And some people might not have Ravelry or the, I mean, adding stuff to your Ravelry library is super, super easy. So at the top of the pattern downloads page in here now, 
Um, there's a, it's a short URL, so maybe like it takes like 10 seconds to type in or less. I don't know. It's really easy to type in. And then there's just a button that you click and it will add it to your Ravelry library or you can click just to download it. Um, uh, can you dye yarn in the microwave using a cast, cover casserole dip? Will speckles be defined? Um, you can dye yarn in the microwave with a dish like that. Um, I do, I've done speckled yarns with steam methods. So I've done speckles hand painted and set it in the microwave before. So that is absolutely, and I believe if you go back and you look at Dye Pot Weekly number one, the very first one, I think I was doing the speckling with Kool-Aid in the microwave. So yeah, I mean, these days I don't always use plastic wrap anymore. Sometimes I'll use like a silicone microwave, like dish cover. If it's something where I don't mind if like parts of the yarn touch each other. Um, then I try to use that to cut down on the, or to like cut down on the disposable aspects of when I'm dyeing yarn myself. But um, yeah, I think that like, I think that this indigo, it's funny. I, I think it's really fun that it's an indigo, like themed, um, the indigo, it's an like indigo glow is the theme of the month. But I love that I got colors that weren't indigo colored and it works with the theme. Because when I first saw, like, I try to avoid spoilers myself, but when I saw that, that it was going to be an indigo theme, I was like, oh, it's going to be all blue. But it's not. It's like inspired by the richness, I think, and the depth of the tone. And so I think that it's just fun and it's a great, great, great value for hand dyed yarn. And so even these are the dyed by knit crate, but it is still hand dyed versus like, you know, machine dyed. And so I think that they do a really nice job of mixing things up in the way that they do their colorways. So I've been really, really happy. And feel free to leave, if you're watching the replay, feel free to leave comments on the video with questions and stuff. I, I try to check and answer and I'm happy to ask questions or reach out to knit create with questions. Um, <laughs> but it's something I've really enjoyed. Um, what's the difference between hand and machine dyed yarn? Um, well, so I think that there's still probably some kind of hand involvement with like, like mass produced yarn, but I think that there's more, hand dyed yarn has a little more individuality or attention to it. I think that there's certain kinds of techniques that are harder to mass produce on a scale. So if you're going to say like, um, you know, a big box retailer, it can be harder to find, you know, to find a, a subtle yarn like this or like a semi-solid or kettle dyed yarn. Those are, those things don't, you find a lot more like solid solids. You might find some variegated ones, but there's, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen any of the, the bigger like dyeing processes. I just think that there's differences when you're, when it's being done on a smaller scale. I mean, I think sort of with hand dyed versus it's sort of maybe like some of the differences between hand knit versus machine knit, um, in the level of like attention to like everything. And so like one hand dyer can dye massive quantities of yarn. It's just, there's, I think that there's some like subtle differences to it. And yeah, I, I don't know, I love hand dyed yarn. <laughs> it's fun. And there's definitely some companies that do hand dyed techniques on like a big, big scale. Like Knit Picks sell, like has some hand dyed colorways. Um, some of the, some techniques are impossible to like scale up to a huge level just because you know, the way that the dye comes into contact with the yarn, say for speckling, like that, you know, the, I'm sure you could set up an assembly line, like massive system for it, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, know what I am able to accomplish and um, I'm in awe of the independent dyers that can dye, I don't know, hundreds of skeins in like, in a colorway or something for something like this. So, um, Can't. But anyway, um, I, 
I'm glad so many of you were able to join me on a Saturday afternoon. I would have loved to, I, I was unable to, we had some power issues this week, so I wasn't able to come on last night to share this with you, but I wanted to get this to you as best as possible. And I'm glad actually that I was delayed because Knit Crate told me about their flash sale uh, this morning. <laughs> so I'm like, oh great, the timing's great, so then I can share that with all of you. But I hope that you all have a really, really wonderful, wonderful weekend. And um, hopefully, hopefully there will be, um, I'm hoping to have some more live streams coming, coming soon, um, doing some more live yarn dyeing um, and things like that. So thank you for joining me. Um, oh, I'm glad you enjoy them. Uh, you know, I could pre-film these or something, but it's more fun being able to just it's more fun being able to engage and it's also a fun time to ask me questions and stuff. So, but anyway, I will, yeah, have, have, a, have a wonderful weekend and I will chat with you soon and check out Knit Crate. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Good night, or not good night, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>